Spring Night by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer The park is filled with night and fog The veils are drawn about the world The drowsy lights along the paths are dim and pearled Golden gleaming the empty streets Gold and gleaming the misty lake The mirrored lights like sunken swords Glimmer and shake Oh, is it not enough to be here With this beauty over me? My throat should ache with praise And I should kneel in joy beneath the sky Oh, beauty, are you not enough? Why am I crying after love with youth A singing voice and eyes To take earth's wonder with surprise? Why have I put off my pride? Why am I unsatisfied? I for whom the pensive night Binds her cloudy hair with light. I for whom all beauty burns Like incense in a million urns. O oh, beauty, are you not enough? Why am I crying after love? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer Look back with longing eyes and know that I will follow. Lift me up in your love as a light wind lifts a swallow. Let our flight be far in sun or windy rain. But what if I heard my first love calling me again? Hold me on your heart as the brave sea holds the foam. Take me far away to the hills that hide your home. Peace shall thatch the roof and love shall latch the door. But what if I heard my first love calling me once more? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. New Love and Old by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer in my heart the old love struggled with the new it was ghostly waking all night through dear things kind things that my old love said ranged themselves reproachfully round my bed but i could not heed them for i seemed to see the eyes of my new love fixed on me old love old love how can i be true shall i be faithless to myself or to you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Look by Sarah Tisdale, read for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in July 2016. Strephon kissed me in the spring, Robin in the fall, but Colin only looked at me and never kissed at all. Strephon's kiss was lost in jest, Robin's lost in play. But the kiss in Colin's eyes haunts me night and day. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. In Central Park the lovers sit. On every hilly path they stroll. Each thinks his love is infinite and crowns his soul. But we are cynical and wise. We walk a careful foot apart. You make a little joke that tries to hide your heart. Give over. We have laughed enough. Oh, dearest and most foolish friend, why do you wage a war with love to lose your battle in the end? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lighted Window by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer He said, In the winter dusk, when the pavements were gleaming with rain, I walked through a dingy street, hurried, harassed, thinking of all my problems that never are solved. Suddenly out of the mist, a flaring gas-jet shone from a huddled shop. 
I saw through the bleary window a mass of playthings. False faces hung on strings, valentines, paper and tinsel, tops of scarlet and green, candy, marbles, jacks, a confusion of colour, pathetically gaudy and cheap. All of my boyhood rushed back. Once more these things were treasures, wildly desired. With covetous eyes I looked again at the marbles, the precious agates, the peewees, the chinnies. Then I passed on. In the winter dusk the pavements were gleaming with rain. There in the lighted window I left my boyhood. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Kiss by Sarah Tisdale Read for LibriVox.org by Iswa In Belgium in July 2016 Before you kissed me, only winds of heaven had kissed me and the tenderness of rain. Now you have come, how can I care for kisses like theirs again? I sought the sea, she sent her winds to meet me, they surged about me singing of the south, I turned my head away to keep still wholly your kiss upon my mouth. And swift, sweet rains of shining April weather found not my lips where living kisses are. I bowed my head lest they put out my glory as rain puts out a star. I am my love's, and he is mine for ever, sealed with a seal and safe for evermore. Think you that I could let a beggar enter where a king stood before? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Swans by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Peter. Swans. Night is over the park. And a few brave stars look on the lights that link it with chains of gold. The lake bears up the reflection in broken bars that seem too heavy for tremulous water to hold. We watch the swans that sleep in a shadowy place, and now and again one wakes and uplifts its head. How still you are! Your gaze is on my face. We watch the swans, and never a word is said. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Old Maid by Sarah Tisdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Iswa. In Belgium, in July 2016. I saw her in a Broadway car, the woman I might grow to be. I felt my lover look at her, and then turn suddenly to me. Her hair was dull and drew no light, and yet its colour was as mine. Her eyes were strangely like my eyes, though love had never made them shine. Her body was a thing grown thin, hungry for love that never came. Her soul was frozen in the dark and warmed for ever by love's flame. I felt my lover look at her, and then turn suddenly to me. His eyes were magic to defy the woman I shall never be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. From the Woolworth Tower by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Darby. July 2016, San Jose, California. Vivid with love, eager for greater beauty, out of the night we come into the corridor, brilliant and warm. A metal door slides open, and the lift receives us. Swiftly, with sharp, unswerving flight, the car shoots upward, and the air, swirling and angry, howls like a hundred devils. Past the maze of trim, bronze doors, steadily we ascend. I cling to you, conscious of the chasm under us, and a terrible whirring deafens my ears. The flight is ended. We pass through a door leading onto the ledge. Wind, night, and space. O oh, terrible height, why have we sought you? 
O bitter wind with icy, invisible wings, why do you beat us? Why would you bear us away? We look through the miles of air, the cold blue miles between us and the city. Over the edge of eternity we look on all the lights a thousand times more numerous than the stars. O oh, lines and loops of light in unwound chains that mark for miles and miles the vast black mazy cobweb of the streets. Near us, clusters and splashes of living gold that change far off to bluish steel where the fragile lights on the Jersey shore tremble like drops of wind-stirred dew. The strident noises of the city floating up to us are hallowed into whispers. Fairies cross through the darkness, weaving a golden thread into the night. Their whistles weird shadows of sound. We feel the millions of humanity beneath us, the warm millions moving under the roofs, consumed by their own desires, preparing food, sobbing alone in a garret, with burning eyes bending over a needle, aimlessly reading the evening paper, dancing in the naked light of the cafe, laying out the dead, bringing a child to birth, a sorrow the torpor, the bitterness, the frail joy come up to us like a cold fog wrapping us round. Oh, in a hundred years, not one of these blood-warm bodies but will be worthless as clay. The anguish, the torpor, the toil will have passed to other millions consumed by the same desires. Ages will come and go, darkness will blot the lights, and the tower will be laid on the earth. The sea will remain, black and unchanging. The stars will look down, brilliant and unconcerned. Beloved, though sorrow, futility, defeat surround us, they cannot bear us down. Here, on the abyss of eternity, love has crowned us for a moment victors. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. At Night by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Peter At Night We are apart. The city grows quiet between us. She hushes herself, for midnight makes heavy her eyes. The tangle of traffic is ended. The cars are empty. Five streets divide us, and on them the moonlight lies. Oh... Are you asleep, or lying awake, my lover? Open your dreams to my love, and your heart to my words. I send you my thoughts, the air between us is laden. My thoughts fly in at your window, a flock of wild birds. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Years by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Peter The Years Tonight I close my eyes and see A strange procession passing me. The years before I saw your face Go by me with a wistful grace. They pass, the sensitive shy years, As one who strives to dance, Half blind with tears. The years went by and never knew That each one brought me nearer you. Their path was narrow and apart, And yet it led me to your heart. O oh, sensitive shy years, O oh, lonely years, That strove to sing with voices drowned in tears. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Peace by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Asia Allen On July 11, 2016 New York, New York Peace flows into me As the tide to the pool by the shore It is mine forevermore It ebbs not back like the sea I am the pool of blue 
that worships the vivid sky. My hopes were heaven high. They are all fulfilled in you. I am the pool of gold. When sunset burns and dies, you are my deepening skies. Give me your stars to hold. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. April by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Asia Allen, New York, New York, on July 27th, 2016. The roofs are shining from the rain. The sparrows twitter as they fly. And with a windy April grace, the little clouds go by. Yet the backyards are bare and brown with only one unchanging tree. I could not be so sure of spring, save that it sings in me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Come by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Come when the pale moon like a petal floats in the pearly dusk of spring. Come with arms outstretched to take me. Come with lips pursed up to cling. Come, for life is a frail moth flying, caught in the web of the years that pass. And soon we too, so warm and eager, will be as the grey stones in the grass. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Moods by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org I am the still rain falling, too tired for singing mirth. Oh, be the green fields calling, oh, be for me the earth. I am the brown bird pining to leave the nest and fly. Oh, be the fresh cloud shining, oh, be for me the sky. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. April Song by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org Willow in your April gown, delicate and gleaming, Do you mind in years gone by all my dreaming? Spring was like a call to me that I could not answer. I was chained to loneliness, I, the dancer. Willow, twinkling in the sun, still your leaves and hear me. I can answer spring at last. Love is near me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. May Day by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. The shining line of motors, the swaying motor bus, the prancing dancing horses are passing by for us. The sunlight on the steeple, the toys we stop to see, the smiling passing people are all for you and me. I love you and I love you and oh I love you too. All of the flower girls' lilies were only grown for you. Fifth Avenue and April and love and lack of care. The world is mad with music, too beautiful to bear. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Crowned by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org. I wear a crown, invisible and clear, and go my lifted royal way apart, since you have crowned me softly in your heart, with love that is half ardent, half austere. And as a queen disguised might pass anear, the bitter crowd that barters in a mart, veiling her pride while tears of pity start, I hide my glory through a jealous fear. My crown shall stay a sweet and secret thing, kept pure with prayer at even song and morn. And when you come to take it from my head, I shall not weep, 
nor will a word be said but i shall kneel before you o my king and bind my brow forever with a thorn end of poem this recording is in the public domain to a castilian song by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org. we held the book together timidly whose antique music in an alien tongue once rose among the dew-drenched vines that hung beneath a high castilian balcony i felt the lute-string's ancient ecstasy and while he read my love-filled heart was stung and throbbed as where an ardent bird has clung the branches tremble on a blossomed tree o lady for whose sake the song was made laid long ago in some still cypress shade divided from the man who longed for thee here in a land whose name he never heard his song brought love as april brings the bird and not a breath divides my love from me end of poem this recording is in the public domain broadway by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Asia Allen, New York, New York, July 27, 2016. This is the quiet hour. The theaters have gathered in their crowds, and steadily the million lights blaze on for few to see, robbing the sky of stars that should be hers. A woman waits with bag and shabby furs, a somber man drifts by and only we pass up the street unwearied warm and free for over us the old and magic stirs beneath the liquid splendor of the lights we live a little ere the charm is spent this night is ours of all the golden nights the pavement an enchanted palace floor and youth the player on the viol who sent a strain of music through an open door end of poem this recording is in the public domain. A Winter Blue Jay by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen Crisply the bright snow whispered, crunching beneath our feet. Behind us as we walked along the parkway, our shadows danced, fantastic shapes in vivid blue across the lake the skaters flew to and fro with sharp turns weaving a frail and visible net in ecstasy the earth drank the silver sunlight in ecstasy the skaters drank the wine of speed in ecstasy we laughed drinking the wine of love had not the music of our joy sounded its highest note but no for suddenly with lifted eyes you said oh look there on the black bough of a snow-flecked maple fearless and gay as our love a blue jay cocked his crest oh who can tell the range of joy or set the bounds of beauty end of poem this recording is in the public domain in a restaurant by sarah teasdale recorded for librivox dot org by kathleen the darkened street was muffled with the snow the falling flakes had made your shoulders white and when we found a shelter from the night its glamour fell upon us like a blow the clash of dishes and the viola and bow mingled beneath the fever of the light the heat was full of savours and the bright laughter of women lured the wine to flow a little child ate nothing while she sat watching a woman at a table there lean to a kiss beneath a drooping hat the hour went by we rose and turned to go the sombre street received us from the glare and once more on your shoulders fell the snow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Joy by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen. I am wild. I will sing to the trees. I will sing to the stars in the sky. I love, I am loved, he is mine now at last i can die i am sandaled with wind and with flame i have heart-fire and singing to give 
i can tread on the grass or the stars now at last i can live end of poem this recording is in the public domain in a railroad station by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by kathleen we stood in the shrill electric light dumb and sick in the whirling din we who had all of love to say and a single second to say it in good-bye good-bye you turned to go i felt the train's slow heavy start you thought to see me cry but all my tears were hidden in my heart end of poem this recording is in the public domain in the train by sarah teasdale recorded for librivox dot org by kathleen fields beneath a quilt of snow from which the rocks and stubble peep and in the west a shy white star that shivers as it wakes from sleep the restless rumble of the train the drowsy people in the car steel blue twilight in the world and in my heart a timid star end of poem this recording is in the public domain to one away by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by anusha ayer i heard a cry in the night a thousand miles it came sharp as a flash of light my name my name it was your voice i heard you waked and loved me so i send you back this word i know i know end of poem this recording is in the public domain song by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by anusha ayer love me with your whole heart or give no love to me half love is a poor thing neither bond nor free you must love me gladly soul and body too or else find a new love and good-bye to you end of poem this recording is in the public domain deep in the night by sarah teasdale sung for librivox dot org by iswa in belgium in july two thousand and sixteen deep in the night the cry of a swallow under the stars he flew keen as pain was his call to follow over the world to you love in my heart is a cry forever lost as the swallows flight seeking for you and never never still by the stars at night End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The India Wharf by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. Here in the velvet stillness, the wide sown fields fall to the faint horizon, sleeping in starlight. A year ago, we walked in the jangling city, together, forgetful. One by one we crossed the avenues, rivers of light roaring in tumult, and came to the narrow knotted streets. Through the tense crowd we went aloof, ecstatic, walking in wonder, unconscious of our motion. Forever the foreign people with dark, deep-seeing eyes, past us and past, lights and foreign words and foreign faces. I forgot them all. I only felt alive, defiant of all death and sorrow, sure and elated. That was the gift you gave me. The streets grew still more tangled, and led at last to water, black and glossy, flecked here and there with lights, faint and far off. There on a shabby building was a sign, the India Wharf. 
and we turned back. I always felt we could have taken ship and crossed the bright green seas to dreaming cities set on sacred streams and palaces of ivory and scarlet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Shall Not Care by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King When I am dead, and over me bright April shakes out her rain-drenched hair, though you should lean above me, broken-hearted, I shall not care. I shall have peace, as leafy trees are peaceful when rain bends down the bough. And I shall be more silent and cold-hearted than you are now. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Desert Pools by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. I love too much. I am a river surging with spring that seeks the sea. I am too generous a giver. Love will not stoop to drink of me. His feet will turn to desert places, shadowless, reft of rain and dew, where stars stare down with sharpened faces from heavens pitilessly blue. And there at midnight, sick with faring, he will stoop down in his desire to slake the thirst grown past all bearing in stagnant water, keen as fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Longing by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. I am not sorry for my soul, that it must go unsatisfied, for it can live a thousand times, eternity is deep and wide. I am not sorry for my soul, but oh my body that must go, back to a little drift of dust, without the joy it longed to know. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pity by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. They never saw my lover's face. They only know our love was brief. Wearing a while a windy grace. And passing like an autumn leaf. They wonder why I do not weep. They think it strange that I can sing. They say her love was scarcely deep since it has left so slight a sting. They never saw my love, nor knew that in my heart's most secret place I pity them as angels do, men who have never seen God's face. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. After Parting by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Becca Oh, I have sown my love so wide That he will find it everywhere. It will awake him in the night. It will enfold him in the air. I set my shadow in his sight, and I have winged it with desire, that it may be a cloud by day, and in the night a shaft of fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Enough by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Becca. It is enough for me by day to walk the same bright earth with him 
enough that over us by night the same great roof of stars is dim. I have no care to bind the wind or set a fetter on the sea. It is enough to feel his love blow by like music over me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Alchemy by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Becca. I lift my heart as spring lifts up, a yellow daisy to the rain. My heart will be a lovely cup, although it holds but pain. For I shall learn from flower and leaf that color every drop they hold, to change the lifeless wine of grief. To living gold. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. February by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Becca. They spoke of him I love with cruel words and gay. My lips kept silent guard on all I could not say. I heard, and down the street the lonely trees in the square stood in the winter wind, patient and bare. I heard, oh voiceless trees, under the wind, I knew the eager, terrible spring hidden in you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Morning by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Becca. I went out on an April morning, all alone, for my heart was high. I was a child of the shining meadow. I was a sister of the sky. There in the windy flood of morning, longing lifted its weight from me. Lost as a sob in the midst of cheering, swept as a seabird out to sea. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. May Night by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Becca. The spring is fresh and fearless, and every leaf is new. The world is brimmed with moonlight, the lilac brimmed with dew. Here in the moving shadows, I catch my breath and sing. My heart is fresh and fearless and over brimmed with spring. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Dusk in June by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Evening, and all the birds in a chorus of shimmering sound are easing their hearts of joy for miles around. The air is blue and sweet, the few first stars are white. Oh, let me like the birds sing before night. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love Free by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org I am free of love as a bird flying south in the autumn, swift and intent, asking no joy from another, glad to forget all of the passion of April, ere it was love free. I am free of love, and I listen to music lightly. But if he returned, if he should look at me deeply, I should awake. I should awake and remember I am my lover's. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Summer Night, Riverside by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer 
in the wild soft summer darkness how many and many a night we two together sat in the park and watched the hudson wearing her lights like golden spangles glinting on black satin the rail along the curving pathway was low in a happy place to let us cross and down the hill a tree that dripped with bloom sheltered us while your kisses and the flowers falling falling tangled my hair the frail white stars moved slowly over the sky and now far off in the fragrant darkness the tree is tremulous again with bloom for june comes back tonight what girl when she goes home dreamily before her mirror shakes from her hair this year's blossoms clinging in its coils end of poem this recording is in the public domain in a subway station by sarah tisdale read for librivox dot org by iswa in belgium in july two thousand and sixteen after a year i came again to the place the tireless lights and the reverberation the angry thunder of trains that burrows the ground the hunted hurrying people were still the same but oh another man beside me and not you another voice and other eyes in mine and suddenly i turned and saw again the gleaming curve of tracks the bridge above they were burnt deep into my heart before the night i watched them to avoid your eyes when you were saying oh look up at me when you were saying will you never love me and when i answered with a lie oh then you dropped your eyes i felt your utter pain i would have died to say the truth to you after a year i came again to the place the hunted hurrying people were still the same end of poem this recording is in the public domain after love by sarah tistel read for librivox dot org by christina there is no magic when we meet we speak as other people do you work no miracle for me nor i for you you are the wind and i the sea there is no splendor any more i have grown listless as the pool beside the shore but though the pool is safe from storm and from the tide has found surcease it grows more bitter than the sea for all its peace end of poem this recording is in the public domain Dooryard Roses by Sarah Tistel, read for LibriVox.org by Christina. I have come the selfsame path to the selfsame door. Years have left the roses there, burning us before. Why watch them in the wind, quick the hot tears start. Strange so frail a flame outlast, fire in the heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Prayer by Sarah Tistel, read for LibriVox.org by Christina. Until I lose my soul and lie, blind to the beauty of the earth, deaf though a lyric wind goes by, dumb in a storm of mirth. Until my heart is cringed at length, and I have left the land of men, oh, let me love with all my strength, careless if I am loved again. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Indian Summer by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Lyric night of the lingering Indian summer, shadowy fields that are scentless but full of singing. Never a bird, but the passionless chant of insects, ceaseless insistent the grasshopper's horn 
and far off high in the maples the wheel of a locust leisurely grinding the silence under a moon waning and worn and broken tired with summer let me remember you voices of little insects weeds in the moonlight fields that are tangled with asters let me remember you soon will the winter be on us snow hushed and heartless over my soul murmur your mute benediction while i gaze o fields that rest after harvest as those who part look long in the eyes they lean to lest they forget them end of poem this recording is in the public domain the sea wind by sarah tistel read for LibriVox.org by christina i am a pool in a peaceful place i greet the great sky face to face i know the stars in the stately moon and the wind that runs with rippling shoon but why does it always bring to me the far-off beautiful sound of the sea the marsh grass weaves me a wall of green but the wind comes whispering in between in the dead of night when the sky is deep the wind comes waking me out of sleep why does it always bring to me the far-off terrible call of the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain the cloud by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by anusha ayer i am a cloud in the heaven's height the stars are lit for my delight tireless and changeful swift and free i cast my shadow on hill and sea but why do the pines on the mountain's crest call to me always rest rest i throw my mantle over the moon and i blind the sun on his throne at noon nothing can tame me nothing can bind i am a child of the heartless wind but oh the pines on the mountain's crest whispering always rest rest end of poem this recording is in the public domain the poor house by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by anusha ayer hope went by and peace went by and would not enter in youth went by and health went by and love that is their kin those within the house shed tears on their bitter bread some were old and some were mad and some were sick abed grey death saw the wretched house and even he passed by they have never lived he said they can wait to die End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. New Year's Dawn, Broadway, by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. When the horns wear thin and the noise, like a garment outworn, falls from the night, the tattered and shivering night that thinks she is gay when the patient silence comes back and retires and returns rebuffed by a ribald song wounded by vehement cries fleeing again to the stars ashamed of her sister the night oh then they steal home the blinded the pitiful ones with their gewgaws still in their hands reeling with odorous breath and thick coarse words on their tongues they get them to bed somehow and sleep the forgiving comes through the scattering tumult and closes their eyes the stars sing down ashamed and the dawn awakes like a youth who steals from a brothel dizzy and sick end of poem this recording is in the public domain the star by sarah Testo read for LibriVox.org by Christina. A white star born in the evening glow, looked to the round green world below. 
and saw a pool in a wooded place that held like a jewel her mirrored face she said to the pool o oh, wondrous deep i love you i give you my light to keep o oh, more profound than the moving sea that never has shown myself to me o oh, fathomless as the sky is far hold forever your tremulous story but out of the woods as night grew cool a brown pig came to the little pool it grunted and splashed and waded in and the deepest place but reached its chin the water gurgled with tender glee and the mud turned up and knit turbidly the star grew pale and hid her face in a bit of floating cloud-like lace end a poem this recording is in the public domain Doctors by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Every night I lie awake, and every day I lie abed, and hear the doctors, pain and death, conferring at my head. They speak in scientific tones, professional and low. One argues for a speedy cure, the other sure and slow. To one so humble as myself, it should be matter for some pride to have such noted fellows here conferring at my side. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Inn of Earth by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. I came to the crowded inn of earth and called for a cup of wine, but the host went by with averted eye from a thirst as keen as mine. Then I sat down with weariness and asked a bit of bread, but the host went by with averted eye and never a word he said. While always from the outer night the waiting souls came in, with stifled cries of sharp surprise at all the light and din then give me a bed to sleep i said for midnight comes apace but the host went by with averted eye and i never saw his face since there is neither food nor rest i go where i fared before but the host went by with averted eye and barred the outer door End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In the Carpenter's Shop by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Mary sat in the corner dreaming. Dim was the room and low. While in the dusk the saw went screaming to and fro jesus and joseph toiled together mary was watching them thinking of kings in the wintry weather at bethlehem mary sat in the corner thinking jesus had grown a man one by one her hopes were sinking as the years ran jesus and joseph toiled together mary's thoughts were far angels sang in the wintry weather under a star mary sat in the corner weeping bitter and hot her tears little faith were the angels keeping all the years end of poem this recording is in the public domain the carpenter's son by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by larry wilson the summer dawn came over soon the earth was like hot iron at noon in nazareth there fell no rain to ease the heat and dusk drew on the tired feet and stifled breath the shop was low and hot and square and fresh cut wood made sharp the air while all day long the saw went tearing through the oak that moaned as though the tree's heart broke beneath its wrong the narrow street was full of cries of bickering and snarling lies in many keys the tongues of egypt and of rome and lands beyond the shifting foam of windy seas sometimes a ruler riding fast scattered the dark crowds as he passed 
and drove them close in doorways drawing broken breath lest they be trampled to their death where the dust rose there in the gathering night and noise a group of galilean boys crowding to see gray joseph toiling with his son saw jesus when the task was done turn wearily he passed them by with hurried tread silently nar raising his head who looked up drinking all beauty from his birth out of the heaven and the earth as from a cup and mary who was growing old knew that the pottage would be cold when he returned he hungered only for the night and westward bending sharp and bright the thin moon burned he reached the open western gate where whining halt and leper waits and came at last to the blue desert where the deep great seas of twilight lay asleep windless and vast with shining eyes the stars awoke the dew lay heavy on his cloak the world was dim and in the stillness he could hear his secret thoughts draw very near and call to him faint voices lifted shrill with pain and multitudinous as rain from all the lands and all the village thereof men crying for the gift of love with outstretched hands voices that called with ceaseless crying the broken and the blind the dying and those grown dumb beneath oppression and heard upon their lips a single word come their cries engulfed him like the night the moon put out her placid light and black and low nearer the heavy thunder drew hushing the voices yet he knew that he would go a quick spun thread of lightning burns and for a flash the day returns he only hears joseph an old man bent and white toiling alone from morn till night through all the years swift clouds make all the heavens blind a storm is running on the wind he only sees how mary will stretch out her hands sobbing who never understands voices like these end of poem this recording is in the public domain the mother of a poet by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by larry wilson she is too kind i think for mortal things too gentle for the gutsy ways of earth god gave her a shy and silver mirth and made her soul as clear and softly singing as an orchard springs in sheltered hollows all the sunny year a spring that through the leaning grass looks up and holds all heaven in its clared cup mirror to holy meadows high and blue with stars like drops of dew i love to think that never tears at night have made her eyes less bright that all her girlhood through never a cry of love made over tense her voice's innocence that in her hands have lain flowers beaten by the rain and little birds before they learn to sing drowned in the sudden ecstasy of spring i love to think that with a wistful wonder she held her baby warm against her breast that never any fear awoke where under she shuddered at her gift or trembled lest through the great doors of birth here to a windy earth she lured from heaven a half unwilling guest she caught and kept his first vague flickering smile the faint upleaping of his spirit's fire and for a long sweet while in her was all he asked of earth or heaven but in the end how far past every shaken star should leap at last that arrow-like desire his full-grown manhood's keen ardor toward the unseen dark mystery beyond the pleiades seven and in her heart she heard his first dim-spoken word she only of them all could understand flushing to feel at last the silence overpast thrilling as though her hand had touched god's hand but in the end how many words 
winged on a flight she could not follow farther than skyward lark or swallow his lips should flee to land she never knew braver than white sea-faring birds with a fearless melody flying over a shining sea a star-white song between the blue and blue oh i have seen a lake as clear and fair as it were molten air lifting a lily upward to the sun how should the water know the glowing heart that ever to the heaven lifts its fire a golden and unchangeable desire the water only knows the faint and rosy glows of under petals opening apart yet in the soul of earth deep in the primal ground its searching roots are wound and centuries have struggled toward its birth so in the man who sings all of the voiceless horde from the cold dawn of things have their reward all in whose pulses ran blood that is his at last from the first stooping man far in the winnowed past out of the tumult of their love and mating each one created seeing life was good dumb till at last the song that they were waiting breaks like brave april through a wintry wood end of poem this recording is in the public domain Rivers to the Sea by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson But what of her whose heart is troubled by it? The mother who would soothe and set him free? Fearing the song's storm-shaken ecstasy? Oh, as the moon that has no power to quiet The strong wind-driven sea! End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Memoriam F. O. S. by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. You go a long and lovely journey, for all the stars, like burning dew, are luminous and luring footprints of souls adventurous as you oh if you lived on earth elated how is it now that you can run free of the weight of flesh and faring far past the birthplace of the sun end of poem this recording is in the public domain twilight by sarah tisdale read for librivox dot org by christina the stately tragedy of dusk drew to its perfect close the virginal white evening stars sank and the red moon rose end of poem this recording is in the public domain swallow flight by sarah tisdale read for librivox dot org by christina i love my hour of wind and light I love men's faces and their eyes. I love my spirits veering flight, like swallows under evening skies. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Thoughts by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org. When I can make my thoughts come forth, to walk like ladies up and down. Each one puts on before the glass her most becoming hat and gown. But oh, the shy and eager thoughts that hide and will not get them dressed. Why is it that they always seem so much more lovely than the rest? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Dick on his sixth birthday by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer Though I am very old and wise, and you are neither wise nor old, when I look far into your eyes, I know things I was never told. I know how flame must strain and fret, prisoned in a mortal net, how joy with over-eager wings bruises the small heart where he sings, how too much life, like too much gold, 
is sometimes very hard to hold all that is talking i know this much is true six years ago an angel living near the moon walked through the sky and sang a tune plucking stars to make his crown and suddenly two stars fell down two falling arrows made of light six years ago this very night i saw them fall and wondered why the angel dropped them from the sky but when i saw your eyes i knew the angel sent the stars to you end of poem this recording is in the public domain two rows by sarah tisto read for LibriVox.org by christina rose when i remember you little lady scarcely too i am suddenly aware of the angels in the air all your softly gracious ways make an island in my days where my thoughts fly back to be sheltered from too strong a sea all your luminous delight shines before me in the night when i grope for sleep and find only shadows in my mind rose when i remember you white and glowing pink and new with so sweet a sense of fun although life has just begun with so sure a pride of place in your very infant face i should like to make a prayer to the angels in the air if an angel ever brings me a baby in her wings please be certain that it grows very very much like rose end of poem this recording is in the public domain the fountain by sarah teasdale read for librivox dot org by anusha ayer on in the deep blue night the fountain sang alone it sang to the drowsy heart of the satyr carved in stone the fountain sang and sang but the satyr never stirred only the great white moon in the empty heaven heard the fountain sang and sang and on the marble rim the milk-white peacocks slept their dreams were strange and dim bright dew was on the grass and on the ilex dew the dreamy milk-white birds were all a glisten too the fountain sang and sang the things one cannot tell the dreaming peacocks stirred and the gleaming dewdrops fell End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Rose by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Beneath my chamber window, Pierrot was singing, singing. I heard his lute the whole night through, until the east was red. Alas, alas, Pierrot! i had no rose for flinging save one that drank my tears for dew before its leaves were dead i found it in the darkness i kissed it once and threw it the petals scattered over him his song was turned to joy and he will never know alas the one who knew it the rose was plucked when dusk was dim beside a laughing boy End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Dreams by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger. I gave my life to another lover. I gave my love and all and all. But over a dream the past will hover. Out of a dream the past will call. I tear myself from sleep with a shiver, but on my breast a kiss is hot, and by my bed the ghostly giver is waiting, though I see him not. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Am Not Yours by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger. I am not yours, 
not lost in you not lost although i long to be lost as a candle lit at noon lost as a snowflake in the sea you love me and i find you still a spirit beautiful and bright yet i am i who long to be lost as a light is lost in light oh plunge me deep in love put out my senses leave me deaf and blind swept by the tempest of your love a taper in a rushing wind End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Piero's Song by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger For a Picture by Dougald Walker Lady, light in the east hangs low. Draw your veils of dream apart. Under the casement stands Piero making a song to ease his heart yet do not break the song too soon i love to sing in the paling moon the petals are falling heavy with dew the stars have fainted out of the sky come to me come or else i too faint with the weight of love will die she comes alas i hoped to make another stanza for her sake End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night in Arizona by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger. The moon is a charring ember dying into the dark. Off in the crouching mountains, coyotes bark. The stars are heavy in heaven, too great for the sky to hold. What if they fell and shattered the earth with gold? No lights are over the mesa. The wind is hard and wild. I stand at the darkened window and cry like a child. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Dusk in Wartime by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger a half hour more and you will lean to gather me close in the old sweet way but oh to the woman over the sea who will come at the close of day a half hour more and i will hear the key in the latch and the strong quick tread but oh the woman over the sea waiting at dusk for one who is dead and the poem this recording is in the public domain Spring in Wartime by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger I feel the spring far off, far off, The faint far scent of bud and leaf. Oh, how can spring take heart to come To a world in grief, deep grief? The sun turns north, the days grow long, Later the evening star grows bright, how can the daylight linger on for men to fight still fight the grass is waking in the ground soon it will rise and blow in waves how can it have the heart to sway over the graves new graves under the boughs where lovers walked the apple blooms will shed their breath but what of all the lovers now parted by death grey death End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. While I May by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger Wind and hail and bearing rain Driven mist that veils the day Soul's distress and body's pain I would bear you while I may I would love you if I might for so soon my life will be buried in a lasting night, even pain denied to me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Death by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger What do I owe to you 
who loved me deep and long you never gave my spirit wings or gave my heart a song but oh to him i loved who loved me not at all i owed a little open gate that led through heaven's wall end of poem this recording is in the public domain from the north by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger. the northern woods are delicately sweet the lake is folded softly by the shore but i am restless for the subway's roar the thunder and the hurrying of feet i try to sleep but still my eyelids beat against the image of the tower that bore me high aloft as if through heaven's door i watched the world from god's unshaken seat i would go back and breathe with quickened sense the tunnel's strong hot breath of powdered steel but at the ferries i should leave the tense dark air behind and i should mount and be one among many who are thrilled to feel the first keen sea breath from the open sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain the lights of new york by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org by diana meilinger the lightning spun your garment for the night of silver filaments with fire shot through a broidery of lamps that lit for you the steadfast splendor of enduring light the moon drifts dimly in the heaven's height watching with wonder how on earth she knew that lay so long wrapped deep in dark and dew should wear upon her breast a star so white the festivals of babylon were dark with flaring flambeau that the wind blew down the saturnalia were a wild boy's lark with rain-quenched torches dripping through the town but you have found a god and flinched from him a fire that neither wind nor rain can dim end of poem this recording is in the public domain sea longing by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org by diana meilinger a thousand miles beyond this sun-steeped wall some where the waves creep cool along the sand the ebbing tide forsakes the listless land with the old murmur long and musical the windy waves mount up and curve and fall and round the rocks the foam blows up like snow though i am inland far i hear and know for i was born the sea's eternal thrall i would that i were there and over me the cold insistence of the tide would roll quenching this burning thing men call the soul then with the ebbing i should drift and be less than the smallest shell along the shoal less than the sea gulls calling to the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain the river by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org by diana meilinger i came from the sunny valleys and sought for the open sea for i thought in its gray expanses my peace would come to me i came at last to the ocean and found it wild and black and i cried to the windless valleys be kind and take me back but the thirsty tide ran inland and the salt waves drank of me and i who was fresh as the rainfall am bitter as the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain leaves by sarah teasdale read for LibriVox.org by diana meilinger one by one like leaves from a tree all my faiths have forsaken me but the stars above my head burn in white and delicate red and beneath my feet the earth brings the sturdy grass to birth i who was content to be but a silken singing tree but a rustle of delight in the wistful heart of night 
I have lost the leaves that knew touch of rain and weight of dew. Blinded by a leafy crown, I looked neither up nor down. But the little leaves that die have left me room to see the sky. Now for the first time I know stars above and earth below. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Answer by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Diana Meilinger When I go back to earth and all my joyous body puts off the red and white that once had been so proud, if men should pass above with false and feeble pity, my dust will find a voice to answer them aloud. Be still, I am content, take back your poor compassion. Joy was a flame in me too steady to destroy, lithe as a bending reed loving the storm that sways her. I found more joy in sorrow than you could find in joy. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Over the Roofs by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Corinka Oh, chimes set high on the sunny tower, ring on, ring on unendingly. Make all the hours a single hour, for when the dusk begins to flower, the man I love will come to me. But no, go slowly, as you will. I should not bid you hasten so, for while I wait for love to come, some other girl is standing dumb, fearing... Her love will go. O oh, white steam over the roofs, blow high. O oh, chimes in a tower, ring clear and free. O oh, sun, awake in the covered sky. For the man I love, loves me. O oh, drifting steam disperse and die. O oh, tower stand shrouded toward the south. Fate heard afar my happy cry and laid her finger on my mouth. The dusk was blue with blowing mist, the lights were spangles in a veil, and from the clamour far below floated faint music like a wail. It voiced what I shall never speak, my heart was breaking all night long, but when the dawn was hard and grey, my tears distilled into a song. I said, I have shut my heart as one shuts an open door, that love may starve therein and trouble me no more. But over the roofs there came the wet new wind of May, and the tune blew up from the curb where the street pianos play. My room was white with the sun, and love cried out in me. I am strong. I will break your heart. Unless you set me free. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Cry by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer Oh! There are eyes that he can see, and hands to make his hands rejoice. But to my lover I must be only a voice. Oh, there are breasts to bear his head, and lips whereon his lips can lie. But I must be till I am dead, only a cry. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Chance by Sarah Teasdale, read for LibriVox.org. How many times we must have met, here on the street as strangers do, children of chance we were, who passed the door of heaven and never knew. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Immortal by Sarah Teasdale. Read for LibriVox.org 
so soon my body will have gone beyond the sound and sight of men and though it wakes and suffers now its sleep will be unbroken then but oh my frail immortal soul that will not sleep for evermore a leaf borne onward by the blast a wave that never finds the shore end of poem this recording is in the public domain after death by sarah teasdale read for librivox .org. now while my lips are living their words must stay unsaid and will my soul remember to speak when i am dead yet if my soul remembered you would not heed it dear for now you must not listen and then you could not hear end of poem this recording is in the public domain testament by sarathis dale read for librivox org by anusha ayer i will take my life and throw it away i who was fire and song will turn to clay i will lie no more in the night with shaken breath i will toss my heart in the air to be caught by death but out of the night i heard like the inland sound of the sea the hushed and terrible sob of all humanity then i said oh who am i to scorn god to his face i will bow my head and stay and suffer with my race end of poem this recording is in the public domain gifts by sarah teasdale read for librivox .org. I gave my first love laughter, I gave my second tears, I gave my third love silence through all the years. My first love gave me singing, my second eyes to see, but oh, it was my third love who gave my soul to me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. From the Sea by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Corinka All beauty calls you to me, And you seem, past twice a thousand miles of shifting sea, to reach me. You are as the wind I breathe, Here on a ship's sun-smitten topmost deck, With only light between the heavens and me. I feel your spirit, and I close my eyes, Knowing the bright hair blowing in the sun, The eager whisper and the searching eyes. Listen, I love you. Do not turn your face, nor touch me. Only stand and watch a while The blue unbroken circle of the sea. Look far away, and let me ease my heart Of words that beat in it with broken wing. Look far away, and if I say too much, Forget that I am speaking only watch how like a gull that sparkling sinks to rest the foam crest drifts along a happy wave toward the bright verge the boundary of the world i am so weak a thing praise me for this that in some strange way i was strong enough to keep my love unuttered and to stand although i longed to kneel to you that night you looked at me with ever-calling eyes. Was I not calm? And if you guessed my love, you thought it something delicate and free, soft as the sound of fir trees in the wind, fleeting as phosphorescent stars in foam. Yet in my heart there was a beating storm, bending my thoughts before it, and I strove to say too little, lest I say too much and from my eyes to drive love's happy shame. Yet, when I heard your name the first of our time, it seemed like other names to me, and I was all unconscious, as a dreaming river that nears at last its long predestined sea. And when you spoke to me, I did not know that to my life's high altar came its priest. But now I know between my God and me you stand forever. 
nearer God than I. And in your hands with faith and utter joy, I would that I could lay my woman's soul. Oh, my love, to whom I cannot come with any gift, of body or of soul, I pass and go. But sometimes, when you hear blown back to you my wistful far of singing touched with tears, know that I sang for you alone to hear, and that I wondered if the wind would bring to him who tuned my heart its distant song. So might a woman who in loneliness had borne a child, dreaming of days to come, wonder if it would please its father's eyes. But long before I ever heard your name, always the undertone's unchanging note, in all my singing had prefigured you, foretold you as a spark foretells a flame. Yet I was free as an untethered cloud in the great space between the sky and sea, and might have blown before the wind of joy like a bright banner woven by the sun. I did not know the longing in the night. You who have waked me cannot give me sleep. All things in all the world can rest but I. Even the smooth brief respite of a wave when it gives up its broken crown of foam, even that little rest I may not have. And yet all quiet loves of friends, all joy, in all the piercing beauty of the world, I would give up go blind forevermore, rather than have God blot from out my soul remembrance of your voice that said my name. For us no starlight still the April fields, no birds awoke in darkling trees for us. Yet where we walked the city street that night, felt in our feet the singing fire of spring, and in our path we left a trail of light, soft as the phosphorescence of the sea. When night submerges in the vessel's wake, a heaven of unborn, evanescent stars. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Vignettes Overseas by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Korinka Off Gibraltar Beyond the sleepy hills of Spain, the sun goes down in yellow mist. The sky is fresh with dewy stars, above a sea of amethyst. Yet, in the city of my love, high noon burns all the heavens bare. For him the happiness of light, for me a delicate despair. Of Algiers Oh, give me neither love nor tears, nor dreams that sear the night with fire. Go lightly on your pilgrimage, unburdened by desire. Forget me for a month, a year. But, O oh, beloved, think of me when unexpected beauty burns like sudden sunlight on the sea. Naples. Nisida and Prosida are laughing in the light. Capri is a dewy flower lifting into sight. Posilipo kneels and looks in the burnished sea. Naples crowds her million roofs close as close can be. Round about the mountain's crest a flag of smoke is hung. Oh, when God made Italy, he was gay and young. Capri. When beauty grows too great to bear, how shall I ease me of its ache? For beauty more than bitterness makes the heart break. Now, while I watch the dreaming sea, with isles like flowers against her breast, only one voice in all the world could give me rest. Night Song at Amalfi I asked the heaven of stars what I should give my love. It answered me with silence, silence above. I asked the darkened sea, down where the fishers go. 
it answered me with silence. Silence below. Oh, I could give him weeping, or I could give him song. But how can I give silence my whole life long? Ruins of Paestum On lowlands where the temples lie, the marsh grass mingles with the flowers. On little, little songs of birds link the unbroken hours. So in the end, above my heart, once like the city wild and gay, the slow white stars will pass by night, the swift brown birds by day. Rome Oh, for the rising moon over the roofs of Rome, and swallows in a dusk circling a darkened dome. Oh, for the measured dawns that pass with folded wings, how can I let them go with unremembered things? Florence The bells ring over the anno. Midnight, the long, long chime. Here in the quivering darkness, I am afraid of time. Oh, grey bells, cease your tolling. Time takes too much from me. And yet to rock and river, he gives eternity. Villa Serbelloni, Bellagio The fountain shivers lightly in the rain. The laurels drip, the fading roses fall. The marble satyr plays a mournful strain that leaves the rainy fragrance musical. O oh, dripping laurel, Phoebus' sacred tree, would that swift Daphne's lot might come to me, then would I still my soul, and for an hour, change to a laurel in the glancing shower. Stresa The moon grows out of the hills, a yellow flower, the lake is a dreamy bride who waits her hour. Beauty has filled my heart. It can hold no more. It is full, as the lake is full, from shore to shore. Hamburg The day that I come home, what will you find to say? Words as light as foam? With laughter light as spray. Yet, say what words you will, The day that I come home, I shall hear the whole deep ocean Beating under the foam. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sappho by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. One. Midnight, and in the darkness not a sound. So with hushed breathing sleeps the autumn night. Only the white immortal stars shall know, Here in the house with the low lintel door, How for the last time I have lit the lamp. I think you are not wholly careless now, Walls that have sheltered me so many an hour, Bed that has brought me ecstasy and sleep, Floors that have borne me when a gale of joy Lifted my soul and made me half a god. Farewell, across the threshold many feet shall pass, But never Sappho's feet again. Girls shall come in whom love has made aware Of all their swaying beauty, and they shall sing. But never Sappho's voice, like golden fire, Shall seek for heaven through your echoing rafters. There shall be swallows bringing back the spring Over the long blue meadows of the sea, And south wind playing on the reeds of rain. But never Sappho's whisper in the night, Never her love cry when the lover comes. Farewell, I close the door and make it fast. The little street lies meek beneath the moon, Running as rivers run to meet the sea. I too go seaward and shall not return. O garlands on the doorposts that I pass, Woven of asters and autumn leaves, I make a prayer for you. 
Cyprus, be kind, that every lover may be given love. I shall not hasten, lest the paving stones should echo with my sandals, and awake those who are warm beneath the cloak of sleep lest they should rise and see me and should say, Whither goes Sappho lonely in the night? Whither goes Sappho? Whither all men go? But they go driven, straining back with fear, and Sappho goes as lightly as a leaf, blown from brown autumn forests to the sea. Here on the rock Zeus lifted from the waves, I shall await the wakening of dawn, lying beneath the weight of dark as one lies breathless till the lover shall awake and with the sun the sea shall cover me i shall be less than the dissolving foam murmuring and melting on the ebbing tide i shall be less than spindrift less than shells and yet i shall be greater than the gods for destiny no more can bow my soul as rain bows down the watch-fires on the hills. Yes, if my soul escapes, it shall aspire to the white heaven as flame that has its will. I go not bitterly, but dumb with pain, not broken by the ache of love. I go as one grown tired lies down and hopes to sleep. Yet they shall say, it was for Sir Cullis, she died because she could not bear her love. They shall remember how we used to walk here on the cliff beneath the oleanders in the long limpid twilight of the spring, looking towards Lemus where the amber sky was pierced with the faint arrow of a star. How shall they know the wind of a new beauty sweeping my soul had winnowed it with song? I have been glad though love should come or go, happy as trees that find a wind to sway them, happy again when it has left them rest. Others shall say Grave Dika wrought her death. She would not lift her lips to take a kiss, or ever lift her eyes to take a smile. She was a pool the winter paves with ice, and the wild hunter in the hills must leave with thirst unslaked in the brief southward sun. Ah, Dika, it is not for thee I go, and not for Phaon, though his ship lifts sail here in the windless harbor for the south. O oh, darkling deities that guard the Nile, watch over one whose gods are far away. Egypt, be kind to him, his eyes are deep, yet they are wrong who say it was for him. How should they know that Sappho lived and died? faithful to love, not faithful to the lover, never transfused and lost in what she loved, never so wholly loving nor at peace. I asked for something greater than I found, and every time that love has made me weep, I have rejoiced that love could be so strong, for I have stood apart and watched my soul caught in the gust of passion, as a bird with baffled wings against the dusty whirlwind struggles and frees itself to find the sky. It was not for a single god I go. I have grown weary of the winds of heaven. I will not be a reed to hold the sound of whatsoever breath the gods may blow, turning my torment into music for them. They gave me life. The gift was bountiful. I lived with the swift singing strength of fire, seeking for beauty as a flame for fuel. Beauty in all things and in every hour. The gods have given life. I gave them song. The debt is paid, and now I turn to go. The breath of dawn blows the stars out like lamps. There is a rim of silver in the sea. As one grown tired who hopes to sleep, I go. 2. O oh, Littus, little slave, why will you sleep? These long Egyptian noons bend down your head, bowed like the yarrow and the yellow bee. There lift your eyes no man has ever kindled, dark eyes that wait like faggots for the fire. See how the temple's solid square of shade 
points north to lesbos and the splendid sea that you have never seen o oh, evening eyed yet have you never wondered what the nile is seeking always restless and wild with spring and no less in the winter seeking still how shall i tell you can you think of fields greater than god should till more blue than night sown over with the stars and delicate with filmy nets of foam that come and go it is more cruel and more compassionate than harried earth it takes with unconcern and quick forgetting rapture of the rain and agony of thunder and moon's white soft garmented virginity and then the insatiable ardor of the sun and me it took but there is one more strong love that came laughing from the elder seas the cyprian the mother of the world she gave me love who only asked for death i who had seen much sorrow in men's eyes and in my own too sorrowful a fire i was a sister of the stars and yet shaken with pain sisters of birds and yet the wings that bore my soul were very tired i watched the careless spring too many times light her green torches in a hungry wind too many times i watched them flare and then fall to forsaken embers in the autumn and i was sick of all things even song in the dull autumn dawn i turned to death buried my living body in the sea the strong cold sea that takes and does not give but there is one more strong the cyprian let us to wake from sleep and find your eyes met in their first fresh upward gaze by love filled with love's happy shame from other eyes dazzled with tenderness and drowned in light as though you looked unthinking at the sun o oh, litus that is joy but if you came not from the sunny shallow pool of sleep but from the sea of death the strangling sea of night and nothingness and waked to find love looking down upon you glad and still strange and yet known for ever that is peace so did he lean above me not a word he spoke i only heard the morning sea singing against his happy ship the keen and straining joy of wind awakened sails and songs of mariners and in myself the precious pain of arms that held me fast they warmed the cold sea out of all my blood i slept feeling his eyes above my sleep there on the ship with vines and olives laden led by the stars to far invisible ports egypt and islands of the inner seas love came to me and sir Colas was love three the twilight's inner flame grows blue and deep and in my lesbos over leagues of sea the temples glimmer moonwise in the trees twilight has veiled the little flower face here on my heart but still the night is kind and leaves her warm sweet weight against my breast am i that sappho who would run at dusk along the surges creeping up the shore when tides came in to ease the hungry beach and running running till the night was black would fall force bent upon the chilly sand and quiver with the winds from off the sea ah quietly the shingle waits the tides whose waves are stinging kisses but to me love brought no peace nor darkness any rest i crept and touched the foam with fevered hands and cried to love from whom the sea is sweet from whom the sea is bitterer than death ah aphrodite if i sing no more to thee god's daughter powerful as god it is that thou hast made my life too sweet to hold the added sweetness of a song there is a quiet at the heart of love and i have pierced the pain and come to peace i hold my peace my cleus on my heart and softer than a little bird's wing are kisses that she pours upon my mouth 
ah never any more when spring-like fire will flicker in the newly opened leaves shall i steal forth to seek for solitude beyond the lure of light alcius lyre beyond the sob that stilled arena's voice ah never with a throat that aches with song beneath the white uncaring sky of spring shall i go forth to hide a while from love the quiver and the crying of my heart still i remember how i strove to flee the love note of the birds and bowed my head to hurry faster but upon the ground i saw two winged grave shadows side by side and all the world's spring passion stifled me ah love there is no fleeing from thy might no lonely place where thou hast never trod no desert thou hast left uncarpeted with flowers that spring beneath thy perfect feet in many guises didst thou come to me i saw thee by the maidens while they danced phaon allured me with a look of thine in anactoria i knew thy grace i looked at sir Colus and saw thine eyes but never wholly soul and body mine didst thou bid any love me as i loved now have i found the peace that fled from me close close against my heart i hold my world ah love that made my life a eric cry ah love that tuned my lips to eries of thine i taught the world thy music now alone i sing for one who falls asleep to hear end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of rivers to the sea by sarah teasdale